The Shanghai Metro is the world's longest subway system, with 831 kilometers of track. It takes a huge amount of electricity to carry more than 10 million passengers per day. Solar panels have been installed on the rooftops of 13 stations to help power the system. The rooftop solar panels at the Rongyang Road Metro Station cover about 50,000 square meters, an area equivalent to seven standard soccer fields. Solar power at these stations produces about 36 million kilowatt hour a year, 1.5 percent of the total energy used by the subway system. More rooftops will be converted into solar power generators, and solar panels will be installed at new stations. There is plenty of rooftop space to install solar panels in the rail transit system. The panels generate power at the same time as the metro system operates, and a high proportion of solar power can be used. This is the benefit of us developing this project. Real-time energy use is monitored at 508 stations on 20 lines. The system can monitor the fluctuation of energy usage to trace abnormal situations and analyze problems, and we can use the information to take action. A growing number of solar panel plants have been installed in public facilities to provide clean energy across China, including the Beijing Daxing International Airport and the Xiong'an High-Speed Railway Station in Hebei Province. Public facilities like the metro system provide a public service to people. China's target of carbon neutrality by 2060 has become a national strategy, and the public facilities need to undertake their social responsibility and play a bigger role in this process. Professor Bao says the public facilities and the infrastructure will be more willing to install solar panel plants as the technology develops and brings more economic benefits.